I have some terrible news for you. Vlogging is dead. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, my name is Patrick. I am a husband, a dad, a human, and a creator living in New York City. And on this channel, we talk about all of it. Now, YouTube has not been around for a very long time. As a matter of fact, Google didn't invent YouTube. YouTube was purchased by Google for a little over, I think it was $20 billion. And when YouTube was first released, announced, started, whatever, a lot of people didn't know what to do with it. So they were just uploading the videos that they wanted to show with friends, family, and eventually the internet. And the vlog was born. An easy way to share a video blog of your life on a really easy to use platform was born. But over the years, YouTube has changed. It's become something totally different. And I would argue, and I think anybody would agree with the fact that YouTube has turned into a search engine. Now, what does this mean for creators like you and me? Well, when I first became serious about YouTube, I did what everybody else does. I kind of started my own little vlog. I started posting videos about my life and I wasn't really specific to a topic, nor was I answering a question and nobody was watching. You see, the vlog is dead. Stay with me. I know that there are successful vlogs out there. I know that maybe vlogging is one of the reasons why you started creating on YouTube or uploading to YouTube, but YouTube, like I said, has turned into a search engine. If you're a small time YouTuber like me and you're out there and you're about to start your channel and you're thinking, well, I'm just gonna tell stories about my life and people are gonna be interested, you're wrong. Just stand there and you're wrong. This and be wrong and get used to it. YouTube is such a saturated platform that if you are not answering a specific question, people aren't watching. Therefore, if you are starting a YouTube channel thinking that you're just going to share your life, man, you better be answering a question. It better be interesting or people just aren't going to watch. Now I can already feel some of you ready to comment, pushing back saying, Patrick, there are some great vlogs on YouTube. What are you talking about? Yes, but I would argue that successful vlogs on YouTube will only fit in one, if not all of these three categories. Number one, if you already have an established vlogging audience, they will continue to click on your videos and watch your content because they've probably been doing this for years. I think of one person and one person alone when I think of this category and you're thinking of him too, Casey Neistat. I don't really like the word inspiration. Uh, I like the word motivation. Casey Neistat is one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel. He was one of the first people to grab the bendy tripod, put the camera on top of it and film his life in New York City and throughout the world. And he would tell these great inspiring stories about what he was doing and what he was creating. And all of a sudden you started to see the heyday of YouTube born. He was vlogging, he was sharing his story, he was doing it in a really interesting way and people were watching. Now category two is a little bit different. I stand by my statement that if you go out there and you say, I'm gonna start creating YouTube videos and you start with a vlog, it's probably gonna fall flat. But if you're already an established channel with an established audience who is clicking on your videos and watching you show them how to take great photographs or dance or sing or whatever it is you're doing on your channel, if you already have an established channel with an established audience, creating a second channel that's more of a vlog style channel that kind of gives like behind the scenes look at how you create your videos or behind the scenes look at your day-to-day -day life can sometimes be successful, but it's only successful if you already have an established audience and you're creating a second channel for your vlog. Category three turns things on its head. Well, well, well how the turntables. There are a ton of YouTubers out there that are filming in a vlog style, tricking you into thinking that you are watching their vlog channel, but they're actually teaching you something. They are giving you some how-tos along the way. They're just simply filming those how-tos in a vlog style format that makes you feel like you're just a part of their life. I am very, very sneaky, sir. I see that. 
So those are the three categories of vlogs that exist out there. One, you've already got an established vlog. When vlogging was in its heyday, people continue to watch your videos like a Casey Neistat you're going to have a successful vlog. Two, you have a successful channel and a successful following. People are clicking on your videos and watching. You create a second channel that's like a vlog channel, behind the scenes, things like that. That could be successful. And then three, the only other category of successful vlog out there on YouTube right now is the YouTuber that makes you think you're watching a vlog, but they're actually teaching you something or showing you something. So what do we do with this information? If we are small time YouTubers, brand new YouTubers, if you still wanna film that way, where you're showing your day-to-day -day life, the way to do it, the one category you can break into here is by teaching people how to do things. You're probably not an established channel, you're probably not someone who began vlogging at the very beginning of YouTube and gained tons of success like a Casey Neistat. You're probably someone who wants to shoot in a vlog style. You think your life is interesting enough to watch, but you need to add that element of teaching others how to do things because YouTube is a search engine. It is no longer just a sharing platform. If you wanna see growth, you have to become a part of that search engine's results. But what about you? What do you think? Is there another angle to this that I'm missing? Or is there some sort of vlogging secret that I don't know about? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're there, do all the other YouTube things. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating.